of an MBA if you've done an undergrad business degree is low from an educational standpoint. In the sense of a lot of what's covered in an MBA you've probably already done at an undergrad level, depending on your business degree. But most times everything's going to be covered. I think if you're trying to change fields, if you're an engineer and you're in marketing, um, not so much finance or app accounting or something like that, it depends, then it may be more useful for you because you've never been exposed to these. So you have to understand business in your first place, you should study some business studies. So what I would definitely recommend is, if you're, if you're thinking about getting into, if you're not sure where your career will take you, I think an MBA is a good mechanism because it's broad. If everybody has the same thing, you need that too. So that's not even differentiation, that's just equalization to everybody else. And then you still have to go and get the differentiation factor. Where the true value of an MBA probably lies, and it's probably more so for doing an MBA at a US, Canadian, or a university outside of the Caribbean is the networking value that you get with the students that are there with you because they have most MBAs that you have to do in those countries you need three years working experience so they don't want people coming straight out of university they want people who are able to share their own experiences in working environments um, I don't want to say that the MBAs in the Caribbean have less value from a networking standpoint but you're going to get networking opportunities as well with, with an MBA like that. The MBA as well, I think from, depending on what company you're in, they may see it as, as something you need to have in terms of being able to step up to the next level. That does mean that if you're able to demonstrate it in other ways without an MBA, you won't be successful.